everybody and welcome to the Weight Loss Diaries. I'm Denise, your Saturday vlogger. It is, I don't know, <laughs> it's Saturday, October 17th, 2009. It is hot. It is very hot here for some reason, which is very strange. It's muggy hot and it's not like, usually like that here. Um, I'm so sorry that this is going to go up really late. It's like 8.30 at night. I have to go pick up my husband in a half an hour from work. We have been on the go all day long, and I just now have been able to get to this. Um, normally, if that's not the case, I have very quiet Saturdays. So, on the scale, I lost 1.4 this week, bringing my total to thir I can't even remember 39.4 total. So I'm 221.4, 1.8 loss. Is that 1.8 loss or 1.4 loss? I can't remember. I'm sorry. I don't, and I don't have my book up here. I came upstairs to do this because people are in the house. It's going to be very discombobulated. <laughs> so whatever I lost, it's 1.4, 1.8, somewhere in there. It's on my personal page. I'll put the link. You can go check it out if you want to. It doesn't really matter. The total is 39.4 so far. <laughs> it does say I'm 0.6 away from 40 pounds lost. Woohoo! That'd be great. I bought this today. The Cardio Max, the Biggest Loser Cardio Max, the Nessa works out to this and she said it really kicks her butt and so I'm looking forward to using this. This is going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I work out at home. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday I go to the gym. So I'm looking forward to that. And I also bought one of these. Can you see that? This would not be good. This would be very bad. I'm hoping I'm not pregnant. Um, yeah, so we're going to find out about that. And, oh I did bring my book. I lost 1.4. There you go. Topic of the week this week is, I believe this is the topic of the week. I'm getting a little confused and nobody's posted this week for this topic and I'm the last day of the week. So I hope I have my week right. Um, I think it is 10 years ago. Where did you think that you would be right now in your life? Overall, health wise, everything. How is it different than what you expected? Well, Ten years ago I was married to somebody else and um, long story short he ended up cheating on me and we got divorced eight years ago so my life changed drastically. I didn't see it coming. I had no idea that that was going on and we had just made plans for another vacation, we had just bought a new car, I just got a new cell phone, I mean we seemed to be in our life together and I just really didn't know. I really didn't see it coming and so I would have to say that ten years ago I thought I would be married to somebody else right now, um, continuing my life with him. We didn't have kids and we weren't planning on having kids so that wouldn't have been something that um, would have happened. It just, I probably would have been struggling forever with my weight. I probably would never have gotten to where I am right now. I'm a whole different person than I was 10 years ago. I am much more authentic. I'm much more genuinely me. I'm honest. I carry a lot of truth in me now. And that wasn't the case 10 years ago. So I'm grateful for the experience because while it hurt like hell, it made me grow up and it made me get real. And I really needed to do that for me. Um, and we were also not well matched. I mean, in all honesty. I mean, I loved him and I was committed to my marriage, but in hindsight, I mean, oh my gosh, especially after meeting David, my husband now, uh, compatibility is a big deal. We weren't compatible. We didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things. What I thought important, he didn't. What he thought was important, I didn't think was important. Um, we just, we didn't share the same interests, even. We didn't have anything common in the heart. We were just a very mixed match. Um, and we met young, very young. I think he was 19 when we met and I was 21. So, you don't know who you are yet when you're that age, you know, and we just grew into who we were and it turns out we were different and not compatible. So, um, it was sticky and messy and whatnot, but 
in any case, I'm happy to be where I am now. I'm grateful to be where I am now. This is better than what I ever would have thought that I was in before. Where I was headed before and what I thought my life was going to be like, this is ten times better. So I'm very grateful for the things that have happened in my life. So that's it for the topic of the week this week, and I will see you all next week. Bye.